Okay, welcome to InternetMarketingSmarts.com's video on how to do keyword research using Google AdWords keyword tool. So let's head over to Google to find this keyword tool. Okay, so we're here at Google.com and I just typed in uh, Google keyword tool. I'm just going to hit Google search now. Um, the first result you're going to see is going to be right here on the top, Google AdWords keyword tool. That's basically what we want. Click on that bad boy. And now you're brought to the Google AdWords keyword tool. Um, keyword research is important because I think a lot of times when people write content, and I know I was guilty of this before I learned about SEO, um, people just write content and you know you just hope and, and pray to the, the search engine gods that people will find you. That's not necessarily how it works. Sometimes you're lucky and, and you can actually come up with some content that search engines pick up. But um, if you want to have a greater advantage of actually being listed in Google for something that you're trying to write, it's better to do your keyword research beforehand. So for instance, let's say I have a cell phone store and I want to you know, rank in Google for some you know, various cell phone terms. Um, first thing I'll, I'll let you know right off the bat is if you're a brand new site, you're not going to rank for cell phones. Um, Sprint and some of the other big companies that have tons of money and you know are more established and, and viewed as authorities by Google will rank before you do. So we want to take a different approach and it doesn't mean that you can't rank and beat them in other places. So let's go. I'm going to type in cell phones, actually cell phones in my keyword area here. Uh, I'm going to leave this checked off so I can get some related keyword ideas and I'm going to click get keyword ideas. So we're going to click here. Okay. So Google has already found some keywords for us, which will be listed right here on the left. Um, you'll also notice some of this other information, advertiser competition, this month's um, search volume and the average search volume. For all intents and purposes, you just want to focus on average search volume and the keywords. This stuff really doesn't make a difference to you unless you're doing PPC and this is not what the video is covering. So the first thing I want to do is actually sort this by keywords that have you know lower search um, searches uh, per month. Um, this goes back to what I was saying in terms of trying to find less competition for our keywords. Um, so we'll click here and here are some lower search terms. Okay. Um, you'll notice also the lower search term actually have a lot more keywords in them. Um, this is what we refer to as long tail keywords. Basically the premise about long tail keyword is, um, keywords are with regular keywords such as cell phone, which is virtually impossible to, to beat a, a major website on, um, there's a lot more competition. Everyone goes for that keyword. Um, with a long tail keyword, it's it's less competition. It's under the radar. People don't pay attention to it. There are not that many searches for it, um, which is exactly what you want um, because it's going to be a lot easier for you to rank top ten for that. So you figure if you have thousands or even you know just a few few of these keywords, um, depending on what your market is, uh, having tons of articles where you're ranking top top ten um, with these keywords is almost like the equivalent of ranking top 10 for cell phone um, but with a lot less work in terms of your competition so that's what long tail refers to it means you know going after the, the the longer tail keywords the ones that have a lot more words in them and doing a lot more content based on that which will eventually equal the same amount of traffic that you would get for cell phone um, it takes a little more work but it's a lot easier to rank for that so with that said here are some of our long tail keywords tri-band cell phone, replacement cell phones, European cell phones, um, you know, hopefully, you know, you know enough about your subject matter where you could actually pick off any of these keywords and write a whole article about it. Um, that's basically what you want to do when you're doing your keyword research. Try to find the keywords that you feel comfortable writing about and, you know, again, because they have such a low search volume and low competition, it's going to be a lot easier for you to rank. Um, Again, I wouldn't pay too much attention in terms of the competition that you're seeing here. That doesn't necessarily reflect the competition that you're going to see in the actual search results. Okay? So, you know, I would basically pick um, maybe this first one here. I'd write an article about this, and I'd make sure that this keyword is actually at uh, the, the title of my article because Google tends to favor, um, uh, I guess, articles with keywords within the title. Um, so that's a little secret tip that you should use. 
So make sure you include your keyword in the title. And then I would probably mix in some of these other keywords if I, if I wasn't going to write um, a whole article on each one. Um, you you want to just always keep your, your articles keyword rich. So you, know, you can add some of these other ones or if you're smart, you would create a, a separate article for each one. Um, the other thing that you can do too is find related keywords which are, are listed here um, by Google which you can also write about or actually just include in the, the, um, the keywords that you found above. So you know it's just a combination of, of finding the long tail keywords, uh, making sure that your page actually repeats that long tail keywords a few times and also including some other additional related keywords. Okay, Let's get out of here and uh, close off with some final tips. Okay, so here are my final tips. It's just a recap of what I said. For content development, use long tail keywords. Long tail keywords have less competition in terms of website rankings, but when added together, they tend to have equal or more traffic than the regular keywords that most people go after. That's just a no-brainer, people. You can, you know, skate up ice hills if you want and try to go after those big keywords, but it's going to take a lot of time, maybe even dollars, depending on, on who you are. Um, use related keywords in the body of your content. Again, you know, once you've identified your long tail keyword that you're going to focus your whole article on, sprinkle a few more keywords in there just to help you, you know, show up in the search results. Because um, sometimes Google will do that just because they found some obscure keyword that your content has and no one else has. And finally, this is probably one of the most important tips: include your long tail keyword in your title. Titles are huge in um, in terms of your ranking. Uh, if you just think about your own search habits when you're actually doing a search in Google, um, you know you tend to click on the, the, the listings that have the best keywords in the title or the t keywords that you were looking for. So not only is it good for usability, um, it also helps you in terms of ranking because Google actually favors websites that do that. Um, and that's pretty much it, my folks. Uh, that's the end. And if you want more information about marketing tips, tools, and advice, please visit us at internetmarketingsmarts.com. Um, if you want to actually be aware of when we actually write new content, the best thing to do is actually to subscribe to our free email tips by visiting internetmarketingsmarts.com forward slash subscribe, um, or you could actually um, subscribe to this YouTube video. Uh, we'll be coming up with some more videos in terms of keyword research, search engine optimization, and just internet marketing in general. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please feel free to vote on YouTube for us. Thanks.